as bad as I want to start with Luke Doty, because, of course, quarterback play is what everybody wants to talk about, yeah. Mike, I have to start offensive line. How shocking is it to you to watch this offensive line? You had eight rushing yards at halftime, eight. And you finished up, you know, 96 yards, I believe, total. Yeah, 96 yards, but 2.8 yards per carry. I think for the – I know for the second straight week, you're, you're rushing for less than three yards per carry. I know you rushed for like 260 in week one, but we still left that game feeling like – you know, there was something left to be desired when it came to the offensive line. Now you're sitting here saying, okay, the offensive line is a weakness right now. And it's a, it's a position unit we all thought was going to be a strength for four or five guys coming back and over 80 career starts. I understand it's a new scheme. It's a new yeah. system. There's a new offensive line important. coach. But, I mean, yeah. how, how surprised are you, I guess, that, I mean, the offensive line, give Georgia credit. They have great players. But – there were many moments Saturday night, what I saw, just unacceptable, man. I mean, just guys sticking their arm out, not picking up an assignment. I thought Luke Doty was going to get killed. There were no holes all night long. Just yeah. your overall thoughts and takeaways from what you've seen from the O-line. Uh, they've been overmatched, uh, specifically on Saturday night. But, again, you know, look at what Georgia did to Clemson. I'm not making any excuses here, right. but look at what Georgia did to Clemson. Um, you know, that Georgia front seven is the best in the country. So it's hard to gauge. And I understand what Beamer was trying to say, right, to Ben last night. But I think what Ben was trying to say is, okay, this has been an issue, though. Like, it's not just against yeah. Georgia. We thought against ECU, too. So how concerning is this for you? And obviously, it's very concerning. Um, but, yeah, I think they've underperformed. Um, and... You know, when you said it, yes. when we came into the season, it was a position group that we felt great about. Uh, you know, it, it was a, a position group that had, what, over 80, you know, uh, starts returning. And uh, you had a lot of experience. And, and, what they, and what they did last year, paving the way for Kevin Harris. Yeah. I think that's what gave you the most sure. confidence with that group. No, 100%. Absolutely. I mean, the run game, obviously the most powerful, powerful part of that offense last year. Uh, offensive line had, you know, uh, a lot to do with that, obviously. Um, but I do think it's important to remember that with a new scheme comes a lot of different challenges. And you saw it all across the board last night. I mean, at one point you had to carry on Joiner. I don't know if you saw this barking away at, you know, I, it may have been Shane. I'm not sure, but there was a lot of miscommunication there early. And, you know, I think that's very indicative of a new offensive scheme that's, you know, being installed. You have a lot of guys back on offense, but remember, these are guys who are used to the old scheme, which has changed 9 billion times, you know, over the last six years for Carolina, obviously. Um, so I, I think as they, as they go along, they're going to find their groove. Again, I don't think that this is, <clears throat> a, a true testament to how this offensive line is going to stack up at the end of the year mm -hmm. uh, because they've got a lot of talent there. And again, Georgia is the best team in the country. Right. And I think that's got to be first and foremost when you bring up the offensive line's performance yeah. uh, on Saturday night. There was a uh, kind of one play that I, I, I don't know if this just shows – Beamer's lack of confidence maybe in the O-line, but, you know, Carolina's got the ball at the, what, the one-yard line, you know, their own one. And you have Doty taking the snap out of shotgun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, <clears throat> huh? Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Like, I mean, I, I get it. They're the best front seven in the country, but, I mean, like, Brady that shit. Like, literally, quarterback sneak two yards up the middle, like try to get some space there, run the, I mean, for the love of God, get a fullback in there and run up the <laughs> middle. Like, I don't yeah. care what you or an H back. Like, I don't care what you do. You can't have your quarterback who has not played in almost a year, who's still dealing with lingering symptoms mm. of that foot injury, take a snap in his own end zone. I think that was I think that was the worst call that we've probably seen from Beamer so far in his tenure, to be honest.